Well, this wall was terribly and deteriorating. So somebody had the idea, why not make something like a painting here? And they did. And then they had a very nice story because uh, the University of Utrecht has a big science department and, um, and they, they had a story from history. They tried something, an experiment on the so-called Doppler effect. And, and they proved right. And to remember this original in 1845 occasion, historical occasion, uh, they, 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 they brought it back. And the guy, Balot, he's very famous. But now we know why, because he was a very good uh, professor. And science went ahead by this railway track and the wall is beautiful now. And you know, I live in the area here. So on one Sunday, I think two weeks ago, I had to give the starting sh shooting for a, a race at the Maliban. And then I saw it was only one third ready. So I came on my bike, I said, oh, only one third. And then two days later, Wednesday, early morning, I came again by bike because I live over there and I go to the inner city, to City Hall. And then I saw in two days time it was finished. So I also applaud the painters. Hi, I'm uh, Sander uh, and I'm one of uh, the persons who made this uh, wall painting here together with Ingmar Schwartz uh, from the uh, University of Utrecht. Um, I'm from the Institute of Theoretical Physics, so my heart is really with uh, how to look at physics and to, to make it visible for everybody as well. So that's what we did here. So we are studying the Doppler effect here. This is something that Buys Balot discovered or uh, measured in 1845. And this is really a very interesting story that you already heard from the mayor. So let me tell you a little bit more about the Doppler effect, because I think you also know this. Um, when an ambulance approaches you, then you first hear that the pitch of the sound, uh, that it gets higher, and then when it goes away, it decreases again. And this all has to do with the frequency. So when you have a sound wave that's coming towards you, you get more of these waves uh, that are coming to you with a, a shorter time, and then the pitch increases and the, the tune that you hear is higher. And then when it goes away again, you get less of these waves towards you and so the frequency decreases and then uh, you will hear a sound that is lower in tune. So that's the Doppler effect and everybody knows it. And I think here now we show that Utrecht also will know what the Doppler effect is.